Super special shout out to Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yuzhika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, Jelly Beams, Jim Bones, and Bilaco for your amazing support. To support the channel by becoming members or patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Darkness Falls Mod. So, last episode, we went mining and mining and mining. Uh, we also went and spent 41 skill points and we gained another 7 while mining, so we managed to actually get the completionist perk as well. I still need a few points because I want to make sure we max out all of the skills. At least all of the classes are maxed out now, even the uh, technology at the back of here. Um, I want to make quite a few things at the moment. I want to make myself, so it must make and use accelerated healing shot at tech. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, that's all I want right now. Um, yeah, I want to make myself a ton of power armor. We do have some as well of our own, so I don't want to waste resources making them. Um, I want to make all this thermal cooling and all the stuff, but I also want to go and make... Where is that one right now? Pulse, Bolt, and Compound Bow, Titanium Bow. If I can make a Titanium Bow or the Compound Bow, either one of those two, put the laser battery on it, and then put some Pulse arrows on there. Ho ho ho! And we can even put the Blessed Metal mod as well. So if we can do all of this stuff, do you know how much damage you'll be able to do with that uh, with the arrow? And also, you won't have to worry of the the when you throw a pulse grenade at the moment, guys. Sometimes if you throw it wrong, it can explode in your face or it hovers above you and explodes. With a bow, you literally shoot. Uh, you, you draw your bow, you shoot it, and then it actually goes where you wanted to shoot. And you can shoot at like pinpoint accuracy and stuff as well. I want to see if we can't go and make a ton of those pulse weapons. I am making uh, 40 of these titanium electric fence posts. I made this bat over here, which is going to replace this. Oh, I need to make a pulse uh, a laser battery now for this as well. Laser battery. What do we need for the laser battery again? Laser battery. Battery, battery, battery. Okay, we need enriched uranium. That's actually busy over here. Uh, we have everything else on us. We just need enriched uranium and 60 notes. Please tell me we have 60 notes. No, we do not. Okay, so I can't do... Uh, well, I, I, it's not going to kill demons, but at least it counts as melee. That's what I want right now. Uh, so for now, we'll just put this away then. And put that over here with all of this. And then I have all this stuff on me over here because what I want to go do over here first is I want to make a ton of steel casings. Um, let's go for a thousand in this one. It should be too... Yeah, I think it stacks to like 500, right? So I can make a thousand there. A thousand there. Over here, I want to make uh, the bullet uh, armor-piercing tips. I'm going to start making armor-piercing quail rounds, basically. And uh, only laser uh, the energy cells and armor-piercing quail ammo. So all of the normal quail ammo and all of the normal gun ammo, like 7.62, all that ammo, I want to go and use. The nice thing is I can use those weapons because these will stop the region of demons while I take them down with other guns. So that's actually going to be fun. And then as well, now that we have those crafting, I could go make the... Oh! Titanium darts. Wait, 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 wait. AP. Robotic slugs. Oh, it doesn't go on this. Aw. If you could put iron... This is just says iron dart ammo. If you could put titanium ammo in there, imagine. These things are already OP as hell. If you could put that in there, you're going to get some really insane results. Okay, now for the pulse, I'm going to see quickly over here. Pulse. Arrows. I don't want to make the bolts because the reload on the is a bit slow. I'm going to need some titanium arrowheads over here. And then a ton of enriched uranium. Okay, so I just need to make the titanium arrowheads first. Delete that. Titanium arrowheads. How much can I make? I can make 10,000. We are going to go for... Let's go for 5,000. Then we have 5,000 bolts. Or 4,000. So we can go 1,000 in this one. 1,000. I hope it stacks to 500. Otherwise, we will lose bolts right now. 1,000 on that one. And 1,000 on this one. So I'm actually making sure that while we're away in the wasteland right now, we have a ton of ammo and armor and stuff just on the way. I say ammo, uh, armor, because I also want to go and do armor. Okay, so that's all of that. And then I want to go and make a ton of titanium. So that should be four. And we have five left over here times 500. It's 2,500 each. I'm just going to go 2,000 to, to be safe. Just in case that some of the stacks are a little bit bigger. I'm really afraid of losing resources. That's going to really, really suck. Uh, did we just run out of titanium? Wait, wait, wait. Can I just make five... Oh, I think I might have... Yeah, I made 10,000 with that one. No wonder. I was about to say, how did I run out of ammo or uh, uh, resources just now? So you need to be a 1,000. You are a 1,000. 1,000, 1,000. Okay, that, that makes more sense. 
Remember that I really panicked. I was like, why? What? Okay, so do this. Do Incoming this. Enemies. Prepare for conflict. Uh, okay, this last one can do some... Oh, okay, all of them have titanium now. No, not this one. So in this one, what we can go and do is make more steel casings. We're going to make 500 more. And more bullet tips, 500. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, loppy or uh, lump-sided now how it's crafting the resources, but I mean, I just need to have some space over here, not all the space. I'm going to do that. What's going on down here? I hear so much noise. If I could just put the spikes mod on this as well, that's going to help me. Oh, oh, who the OP this bat is? And it's not even level 80, it's only level 71. This feels like it's way better than the baton. At least the range of movement is better as well. With a stun baton, the pulse or the laser stun baton, uh, the, the range of movement is too slow and the, the reach is too short. So it really throws you off. You don't really know how far to reach. Okay, so I also want to go over here and make a laser battery. Um, I said we're going to need 10 more. Oh, yeah. This is crafting over here. That's going to take a while. 30 more minutes. And we need those blue notes. So when we go looting in the wasteland right now, that's something we have to look for. Laser spear. Woo! I wonder what's just better. Okay, let me just quickly do this. We need to make 29 more of those. 29 more, 29 more is over here. I want to see how powerful the spear is compared to the knife. The sword is level 80, so uh, the sword might still be better, but I think the spear might actually be better than the katana. And then also what I want to make uh, is actually myself a ton of power armor. Ooh, power fist? That's for melee and power hammer. Yeah, I want to make the uh, power armor over here. So we need uh, forged titanium and military fibers. We don't have any more forged titanium left. And we don't have any... Uh, we have 96 military fibers. It's 10 per piece. We want to make like 9... No. There's 5 armor pieces. There's 15 we need to make because it's times 3. But there are some pieces of here as well. So that's going to make it a little bit tough to decide how much I exactly need right now. Um, basically, I want to make all of these level 80. But uh, I should then... Okay, instead of 15 pieces, let's make 10 pieces. So I need a little bit more military fibers. What happens if you scrap these? What do you get? Let me just do that so I can stop it. Seven. I might actually be able to scrap the old ones and make new ones. That is a little bit of a waste, I do admit. But we only need one of these to be able to make the rest level 80. So for example, we, uh, we keep the best. Okay, this one's almost all the way repaired, so that's going to help the best, most. But let's just repair this one, this one, this one, and this. And then all of these we can go and scrap. Oh, it, it doesn't seem to have lost any durability as well. So that's, that is awesome. That, that means it's perfect. So basically, we only need to make two pieces of each of these items. I think that's the last one, right? Oh, no, one more boot. So we only have to make eight. And then for the last one, we have to make three, unfortunately, for the headpiece. But just for these pieces over here, we need to make two. So it's eight plus three, that's 11. So we need 111 military fibers. We should be able to get that with the stuff we're uh, scrapping right now. And also, let me just see. Let me just put this away. I can make so much more steel and stuff. I can't wait. Okay, yeah, I can make cement. I can make steel. I can make all of this stuff over here. We're going to have to wait for this to finish. It seems it does stack to a thousand. So that's going to save us some space as well. It's weird. The titanium stacks to ten, uh, to one thousand. Yeah, 10,000. And this only stacks to six, uh, 6,000. The uranium and plutonium. Okay, and then I want to test the spear out quickly as well. Which is better? Okay, but, uh, if I, okay, let me just take all the mods off on this one first. I don't think if it's, I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but I want to test. Now, this one's still better with melee and power damage. It has more damage to target armor, so when uh, going for soldiers and stuff, this one's going to help. And it's also better with stamina, the spear. Other than that, the sword is better. I Who knows, perhaps if it's level 80, it might be better, but for now, I'm not going to take a chance, I'm not going to waste the resources. We're just going to put that away over there. And go and put all of this stuff back on this one. Boom. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we have to put all of these things away because I'm not going to need it right now. And then I want to come back and I want to make myself those power armors, but for now we will not have enough resources, unfortunately. Because to make the power armor, we need a ton of forged titanium, and that's busy crafting right now. If it wasn't for this stuff and the other stuff that I was making, then I'd, I would have the, uh, the titanium right now to be able to do that. Easy peasy. It's so easy taking these, du uh, these dudes down now. 
I should have been using this uh, titanium bat. It's it's not even a baseball bat. It's a titanium reinforced club. I was looking for the bat, 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 but I was like, how? Oh, where's the bat? Can't find it. Okay, so we put this away. That's building. That is medical. We're never going to use the scrappy ones. And then I want to see it. Should we go to the trader and sell all this stuff? Our inventory is getting a little bit... Oh, I can actually go and do this. Our inventory is getting a little bit full of here, so I'm actually thinking I'm going to sell this. And the nice thing is I could actually go and drop this in my drone over here. But it's not going to be able to take everything, but at least I'll be able to take some stuff with me. So we could quickly go to Caitlin and just sell all the stuff over there, and then we can go from there. Okay, there are planes flying overhead because it seems like there's an air show going on in real life. Uh, guys, do you know how creepy it is in this wasteland? It's raining, it's foggy, it's nighttime, and you don't know where there's going to be succubus or whatever flying down on top of you. This is so creepy. Okay, so now that we are here, uh, I just realized I dump a ton of stuff over here. I'm hoping there's not more than three of each item. Because then she's definitely not going to want it, and we're going to have too much stuff on us right now. You grab this, and then just sell and see how much we can get. How may I serve you? You just hear the planes going in the background. They're doing air maneuvers and stuff, and you can so clearly hear them. It's weird. My mic actually, I think, picks up the sound of the planes, but not the dogs barking so close by. You got to show how much more power a, a plane has than a dog's mouth. Dogs bark. Okay, let's see. Uh, go, 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 go. Boom, boom. And we have how much coin on us? Just this 48 of here. Huh. I thought we might, we might actually have more than this. That's disappointing. Okay, what I need to do is get those blue notes because we have to make ourselves... I wonder if I should try and make a portal. We have a portal power source over here. I wonder if you can make your own or if it just reopens an old one that you broke already. If you can make your own and then farm demons that way, that'd be awesome. But yeah, we need these generic notes because we need them for the power armors. If I could buy a power armor as well, I'd buy those. But other than that, I think we have everything that we need right now. So yeah, I, sh I shouldn't waste too much cash over here. And you go to the other trader as well. Oh, I could have used this. And you go to the other trader as well. And see if it doesn't have uh, more stuff for us to buy. And then also if you can't... Um, no, to, more stuff to, uh, for us to, to buy from him. And then also if we can't sell this stuff to him. Okay, uh, I need this. Thank you. The, the grenades. I really wanted more grenades. But by the time we actually throw a grenade, we're already getting hit by like a demon fire and stuff. And then the grenade explodes in your face. Because as you throw the grenade, they vomit in your face. So you don't want to go dying because of your own grenades right in front of your own face. Um, lead, I definitely want more lead. We have so much iron and clay right now, we need more lead for the bullet tips. Okay, so I thought there might be more blue notes over here. But it does not seem to be the case. Okay, yeah, there's nothing more over here. We can actually put now the rest You're of the welcome. stuff inside the, uh, the drone over here. Oh wait, hello. Yeah, she wanted that. Nice. What goes over here? There's something that's supposed to be here. Thank you. But other than that, what we can now go and do is just drop all of the stuff in there, and we don't have to worry about uh, taking up too much space. I need more of these notes, though, because I want to make all the power armor. Okay, so what we're going to do now is head back over here. Oh, it's going to be so dangerous at nighttime. I'm going to aim for right there. We're going to go straight past, and we're going to see if we can't come across some awesome buildings. I think what we should do is just go on the outskirts of here for all of these buildings to see if there's any cool ones or not. Or perhaps you can start on the outside of here and just go down and then see which ones of you are cool. Move up and then see if you can't go in the middle of it. I think this is more city. I'm basically, guys, as soon as the city is done and all the cool buildings are done, then the series is done. But there are so many buildings still left that I don't know how long it's actually going to take to be able to get to all of them. So there might be like another month or so of Darkest Falls or it might be less. It depends on how fast we can do this. Okay, guys, there is a succubus above us. So we're just going to do this. I want her to come down to me, but these turrets can only shoot her when she's down here. So we do this, we try and get her attention by actually hitting her. There you go. So she's gonna come down to us, the turrets are gonna help shoot us. Did the turrets not see her, not try and shoot her? What's going on over here? Ooh! I think I was too far away from the turrets, so basically I killed her on my own just now. The fact that her wings still work like that is really creepy. <laughs> But we're going to get way more of her, and then the other dude we need to be careful of as well. Basically, her male counterpart is walking around all over. So if you're not paying attention, he can easily come and attack you. He looks like a young, um, like young demon. Then the patriarch is a demon in a suit, and the matriarch looks a little bit more sexy than this lady. One of you was like a black piece. 
on Black Clover Peace. Okay, so we have this place over here to do. We've done it on... Let's just go through over here. We have done one of these camps, but I can't remember which one it was. You should probably be able to see from the damage, uh, the amount of damage that's been done over here. I think it was this one. Because there's some bags over here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. How much damage has been done over here? My senses have picked up something. It doesn't really look like there's a ton of damage that's been done over here. There could be so many demons in here. We have to be careful right now. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't put the turrets on this side facing the wall and then uh, stand on the wall over here and then the turrets will help me kill them. I think that's going to be the best bet right now. As soon as I place this, they're going to start moving. Come on. Maybe be careful of all the demons and stuff in the area coming for me right now as well. Okay, dead before you could explode. Nice. You have to be careful because there are going to be demons in there spawning in. And if you're not paying attention, they can easily go and explode or uh, vomit in our face with those uh, fireballs. They're actually cli trying to climb on the wall over here with me. Clever. My turrets aren't pointed right there. Only over here. Oh, Titan. I should actually call him closer and see if he also is going to do what they're doing, climbing up over there. Or if he's going to come over here by the fence so that the turrets can shoot him. You're just a tough one. You're not even a demon. It seems that during nighttime, this place is way, way, way tougher to clear as well. There's a screamer over there. She somehow killed her just now. If she stands up, she might actually end up screaming. Okay, so now we call over the Titan. If I call him this side, he's uh, definitely going to walk past the, uh, the turrets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, this side. I want him to pass the turret so it's easier to kill him. Yes, 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 yes! Now the turrets are helping me insanely over here. <laughs> bye bye Okay, so they are normal dis- Okay, I need to keep my eye on this guy as well. We don't all of a sudden want to take a fireball or two to the side and then- Oh no, it was a succubus or something. The nice thing is I can actually- I could actually take the turrets inside with me. But, I wonder if I shouldn't just keep them outside and then just lure all the zombies inside to me. Okay, if we can do this. We want to loot the loot on that side. There's bags all over as zombies during nighttime despawn. If she was feral. There's going to be way more zombies in those tents over there, so I need to lure them to me right now. I mustn't waste ammo. One shot was enough, John. One shot was enough. There's definitely going to be more stuff on that side. I need to make sure that I haven't looted this place yet. It's untouched. I think I wanted to do this one, and this is where we uh, got more uh, succubi and stuff during nighttime. And it almost ended up killing us, so we have to be really, really careful right now. I'm going to point one that way, point one that way, and point one this way. And then I'm going to run back here and have all the zombies follow me, because there are still going to be more spawning in right now. It's a shame that we don't have a clear Master, quest over here. Not alone. The clear quest, at least you can see where they're standing up. You'll see the red dots on the map. Without the red dots, you have to really pay attention to the textures because sometimes you just can't see them. Okay, we don't need any cobble over here, but we do need this stuff over here. Why can't I? I think I might have actually been over here. No, it wasn't. Why is that ladder destroyed? Nice. I just grabbed that, so we can just go and do this. Breaking these open. See, for these you actually need a lockpick. Because at the moment, since we don't have our level 4 out of 5 uh, breaking and entering, this still takes a while. And look how much stamina it takes. If I can power attack and power attack and power attack with a titanium pick and not lose any stamina, the crowbar loses this much. I need to be able to do as much damage as possible in that time. There's still this one over down here. I just wanna, I don't, I wanna clear, clear the zombies and go for these hardened chests and stuff. Like, go for the rewards. So on the outskirts, I'm only gonna go for these awesome POIs, and then the, uh, the town itself is gonna go for the big buildings. I think that's gonna be super dangerous as well, so we need to be so careful. Yes, munitions chests and stuff over here. 
You have to be careful because the zombies are going to start spawning in now. There are still sleepers over here, but they haven't spawned in. They spawn in in chunks, it seems. There might even be tit uh, titans and behemoths down here. Yeah, I hear something over there, but I might just, yeah, just a little monitor. Okay, that's three or four demolishers. Whoopsie daisy. That is way too many demolishers. Oh, I'm so glad I jumped over there. That did so much damage. I'm so glad I jumped up. Stuck in the bar fence over here. Damn. And screamer. I'm so glad I was able to kill her before she screamed just now. That would have been bad. <laughs> Guys, just now, this little bit of, uh, uh, you could say, horde that uh, just managed to almost steamroll us, they're not even as tough as the screamer horde. So that's why I'm so careful right now. Oh, my turrets took some damage, I think. So yeah, we have to be so, so careful right now. They just steamrolled us and it was just like a few zombies. Now imagine the screamer horde uh, comes in. It's going to be so much worse. See, this place is full, full, full of modern chests and stuff. If I can go for all this loot, it's going to really help us out. There's another demo over there. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Imagine as the uh, crowbar swings to the left bottom, I accidentally nick the ball in the face. And it decides, no, 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 no. You wanted to hit me? I'll bite your ass. We have to be so careful right now. Okay, so crouch over here. This is basically all the stats, so we don't have to clear the rest of the space. There's no point. I'm gonna do this and place this somewhere, but where can I place this? I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so as soon as the one stood up, all of a sudden the turret could see them. The amount of demos this place has though is insane. Finally a demon. But because the turret hit it just now, it should not set us alight. Come on, show yourself. Oh, the, uh, the demons couldn't see it. Oh, uh, not demons. The turrets couldn't hit it just now. It saw it, but it tried to hit it and couldn't. So uh, even just now, he was still regaining because it, uh, the demons couldn't, or the, I keep saying demons, the turrets couldn't nick him, couldn't get him in time. Be careful, last time there was a titan chilling over here. So I don't want to be stuck in this small room and all of a sudden have a titan uh, be wailing on the back. Nice. Okay, whoa, we have so much loot right now. Tara, or oh, drone, are you full? Kind of. Yeah, okay, we'll just put some armor in there first then. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could probably put all the ammo in there too. Grab all of the notes. There you go. Nice. Okay, so this drone is actually almost all the way full as well. That is a little bit of a problem. I could go and at least... I can use this, but I don't need it. I should make some space over here. And then do that. Okay, this... Oh yeah, guys. I found out this in the public server. On my Discord or uh, membership server. If you go over here and you break this down, I never knew that this was over here. There's a weapons bag in this well, and I never knew that. I could have sworn this was a solid well at a stage, but yeah, it's not anymore. I have to be careful of... Okay, that's just a vulture. It's like to buy flying around, and then the, the titans just chilling. They're just walking all over. So they could be a really big threat if you're not paying attention to yourself. I think what I'm going to do is also to save some space, we're going to jump, uh, drop a ton of stuff in the vehicle. I'm going to try and do as little bit of, uh, as little uh, storage um, sorting and stuff on camera as I can. Like when I usually say, I'll drop this here, drop that there. I need to start cutting all that stuff out. Okay, I think it would be worth it to go at least for this gun place over here. You never know what's going to be inside. And then drone, you are going to have to help me inside, so that means I need space. Let's see what can stack. Oh, nothing can stack. Oh, wow, okay. I could actually go and just scrap all the stuff I have on me, like uh, leather armor and stuff that Master, I'm never going to use. Are you f oh, I was about to say, why is he so tough? He's feral. 
Okay, but yeah, uh, heal full of stuff that I don't need. And this over here, I'm just going to go and scrap and stuff I don't need. And then we'll go start looting the place. Okay, let's do this. The vehicles might actually have some good stuff inside. I need to be careful firing this gun. Uh, if demons and stuff in the vicinity hear me firing my gun, they'll come and investigate. So especially at night time, when you're firing your gun in the wasteland, it's super, super dangerous because the, the demons and stuff come out to play. Okay, I can actually go and do this. Sounds like they're going to come out this door. Oh yeah, there's so many demons falling out the roof right now. We need to be careful. I've got a bad feeling about this. The nice thing is I can just go and blow all the zombies out. The zombies will follow me towards my turrets and I can just take down the turrets over there. I can try and fight them on my own as well. Okay. No, 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 don't hit me. Don't send me a light. Uh, okay. I should probably put some normal bandages on me as well. I need to make sure that I'm not on fire. I need to make sure I'm reloaded before the demons even come to me. See, my, my gun is strong enough to actually take them down, but not if you have to reload first. There's definitely going to be more, uh, some more zombies in these bathrooms and stuff. Careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, so we came through over... No, not over here. We came through over here. I should probably grab my turrets as we go as well. It's going to get dark. No, it's morning. Phew. For a moment, it looks so dark. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Okay, phew. Uh, yeah, let's just close the doors we're not using at the moment. We have our other glasses on, uh, so we should be able to get some really good loot from this stuff. I'm hoping for way more ammo as well, uh, especially especially explosives. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely need to make sure that we have some, especially frag rockets for Horde Knight. Honestly, I think there's also a titanium or a laser um, rocket launcher. Let me just see. Rockets, rocket launcher. I can also there's, there's another rocket launcher as well. Launcher. Titanium. Is there no titanium rock launcher? I could have sworn there was like some kind of futuristic... I need, I need to go and check inside the laser workbench. Perhaps I'll see another recipe because I could have sworn there's like a special kind of thing you can do. Okay, I need to make sure we grab all of these because sometimes I do not and then I'm so mad at myself later. Wait, where is this safe? One of these rooms is supposed to have a safe, is it not? Seems not. Okay. We're just going to keep on going, go as fast as we can, see if we can't finish this place. We should probably get all the steel over there, but that's fine. Make sure that these are at least enough reloaded so they can go for all the demons over here. See, there's a demons over there, but there might also be demons. Those only seem like a radiator. Okay, cool. So as long as we can just kill these demons... I only need one down. Because all it needs to do is stop the region of the demons, and that I can do the rest. And if these guys come close to me, this turret is strong enough to actually help. Let's just slow them down, basically. We just want them to slow down so we can do the rest. Okay, drone. I need to make sure that you can carry some more. I don't know if you can, actually. We are so, so, so full at the moment. Okay, ammo pile. Come on. Weapons bag. And sometimes there's another ammo pile over here, so you just have to check. Okay, and then just in case there's actually demons back there, we're going to do this. I don't know why they don't come for me unless I go and shoot one. As soon as I shot one, the one, all of a sudden, I, I was hitting this and everything. No one showed up. And then as soon as I started actually shooting one of them, then all of them woke up. Okay, so over here we have another thing. In the middle, there's always one. So it's one, two, three, the, uh, the middle one, the second one over here has some stuff. The more notes we can get, guys, the more we can actually go and also... I'm just going to do this. Uh, the more notes we get, the more uh, generic notes we can make, the more skill points we can spend. So that is awesome. It's a win-win. Careful of demons and stuff up here, John. I see some smoke, but I don't know if that's from radiated. Or just tough. Oh, yeah, that's demon. Master, we are not, alive. not on fire, right? Yeah, my water's not going down. Cool. Ooh! I'm trying to kill the other one. 
Okay, it seems all three need to team up to really take them down fast. I'm going to have to be so careful. Guys, there are a ton of your eyes over here that I really want to go check out. So that's why I say I don't know how long it's going to take to clear this whole um, town, but it is going to be fun on the way doing it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it with me, enjoy the experience. I actually think, I'm I'm thinking of going and making a whole way on the side. If you fall down on top of what, uh, could have, what could be demons and stuff over here. Wait, that's steel. That is never steel. That's not a good sign. That's usually glass. You can fall in there. Which means this place is going to be overrun. I'd be careful of wandering towards though. We finally, 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 uh, the other, uh, yes, uh, last episode, we finally started getting, uh, getting wandering wards again. But for a while, we we didn't get any. And then all of a sudden, we got that massive one after mining. So that was, that was a nice way to end off the episode. There's some zombies in there. What I'm going to try and do is make a hole like so. Come on, I just made a hole for you to jump through. Oh, there is red in there. Oh yeah, we have the tracking from the hunting. That's how we can see if there's a demon or not. Basically, for those who don't know, if you crouch down and you stand up, you'll see on the map of this white on the zombie. That's part of the hunter skills. But basically, you can see where demons are coming from before they even show themselves. If they're red, they're demon. If they're green, they're radiated. Yellow, they're tough or radiated or feral. Um, and then if they're white, they're just normal zombies. I think any kind of demon, demon boss, uh, demon lackeys, all of those guys are just red. Our attacks. Also, sometimes if it shows like a snake on the screen, it's actually like one of the um, uh, brood mothers and stuff. The, the mutant spiders. I don't know why it gives that weird uh, look, that weird uh, thing sometimes, but that's how it works. Okay, so that one's done. Next up is this. I want to make sure that in case there's a titan in there, we have these down. You never know what's going to be inside of here. It could be just normal radiant like this dude. Or it might be a behemoth. Especially in the wasteland, it might really be a behemoth. You have to be careful. Yeah, this is the room we were just clear- no, it's not. This is the room we were just clearing, so we go through this one. Uh, we have all the boxes, and then we do this one. I'm hoping a wandering ore doesn't come by right now. Guys, we are so full, we're gonna have to go back to the base and drop some stuff off. Hey, look at this, we don't have enough space. Um, so I'm just gonna go scrap random stuff that I think might not be as worth as the rest. But yeah, basically we need so much space right now, we just have to loot this one. Uh, just trash, and then what else is there? This is it, that's done. Okay, so yeah, uh, we had some fun in this, uh, this episode. Oh, I need to actually go do this because we need the space. That is not fun. Uh, it always sucks when you have to drop stuff over here just so you can actually pick up your turrets. Yeah, why am I hearing all these footsteps? They're just random zombies, right? Yeah, if you hear a ton of footsteps, it might be a wandering wall closing in. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the base and I'll drop all this stuff off and I'll be seeing you guys next time. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.